What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, thank you for joining us. And here in Detroit it is getting a little bit sunnier and a little bit warmer, which means golf season is drawing ever near. And I'm so excited because Jordan Brand has been killing it in these last few months with their golf cleat releases, really getting me ready for this season. The latest of which, the Jordan 5 Low in this amazing, all white with a little bit of red and blue and one of the dopest outsoles I've seen on a golf cleat in a long time. We're gonna get into that, but first, let me give you a little bit closer look at this beauty right now. All right guys, now that you're better acquainted with the sneaker, let's get right into it. I posted this photo on my Instagram and I got a DM from one of my buddies and he said, you know, am I the only one who's not really into these basketball shoes turned golf cleats? And I said to myself, well, I mean, yeah, because when you think about it, I mean, Nike Golf has had some hits, but for most part, golf cleats are kind of boring. They're not really doing anything innovative and crazy with the designs that really catches my eye as a sneakerhead. So when they started doing Air Max 1s or Air Max 90s with golf cleats, I was like, yeah, that's a direction I would like to see them keep going in. And then they started doing Jordan Retros and I'm like, oh yes, now you have piqued my interest because there aren't a lot of golf cleats out there that are just dedicated golf cleats that really kind of do it for me. So. I thought the Jordan 11 lows that came out recently in the all white, the cool grays and the breads were amazing. I thought that's as good as it got. And then I saw some photos of this and I thought to myself, well, all right, maybe there's a contender here. And now holding them in hand, I don't know guys, 11s are my all time favorite sneaker as far as Jordan retros go, but these in this golf cleat with this subtle red, white and blue colorway here and this outsole, I mean, this outsole's amazing. I'm having a hard time keeping the 11s at the top of the pack for my favorite golf cleat in my arsenal because these things feel amazing in hand. They feel like they're made super well. I know they have a lot of waterproof elements just like the 11s do, so that might go into this quality construction. This leather is nice, supple, and soft, and it's definitely not the pebble grain leather that's going to absorb creasing and things a lot easier, but at the same time, you're you know dragging these things through grass and maybe on some wet days and some mud. So, you know, they're gonna get a little beat up. It's a shoe that's meant to be played in as opposed to just worn out. So I'm not worried about whether this leather is going to hold up or not. I'm more worried about performance and things like that. This outsole feels fantastically like stiff and ready to absorb golf swings. It feels a lot more substantial than the ones on the Jordan 11s, I would say. So I'm looking forward to the type of you know cushioning and stability that this gives me because it also has the visible air units, which I'm not sure if there are air units in the Jordan 11 cleat. They're definitely here in this five low cleat. So I think overall, this might be my favorite shoe to play in and my favorite shoe to rock on the course. I mean, just look at how good this thing looks. You've got a lot of red hits along the top of the sneaker onto a gray tongue that really stops where the laces begin and it turns back into a white tongue with a plastic overlay underneath. That same plastic mesh looking overlay continues into the upper and feels really nice. It's a nice soft rubber. It's nothing like crazy high end or anything like that, but the leather does feel very high end and nice. You've got a great looking clear plastic lace lock with the red pump and then going into the midsole it's done in black with a good level of sheen to it and that's where you get some more red hits that kind of shark tooth pattern that the fives are known for and then you see this icy blue outsole creeping up and that's where it takes you to my favorite part of the sneaker this outsole looks so good it's a high gloss finish black in the middle there with jordan stamped into it and then you got these icy blue covers on the heel on the forefoot and then below that icy blue you can see a red jump man poking through there and it's a shame that these are going to get dirty they just look so clean and good but I do know that the way this outsole feels, how solid it is, it's probably going to clean up very well and look pretty good over time. Sure, it'll get scratched, but I mean, this is clearly the star of the show in my opinion. Now you might feel differently. You might think other elements of this upper look really good, but I just thought when I held these in hand for the first time and looked at it, I mean, this part was just, oof. 
I love it. Can you tell? I love it. The leather stitching around the toe box and along the heel, everything feels really good materials wise. It's really nice and padded going down into the sneaker itself. And then on the back on the heel here, you get that red embroidered jump man that matches the red embroidered jump man on the top of the tongue. What's also cool on the top of the tongue too is the jump man is outlined with a little debossed kind of like shadow of a jump man. It looks really nice. It's got like a nice high end feel and finish to it as well. Everything on this sneaker feels quite high end. And you know, for the golfer in particular, I think, you know, golf is kind of a fancier, maybe more expensive type of hobby. And there's definitely a, a, a bar of expectation, I would say, you know, if you're gonna give me something that's tor geared towards the golfer, it has to exude a little bit of luxury, a little bit of high quality finish, fit and material, things like that, because golf really, really is not a cheap sport to play. And uh, I think the type of mindset of a lot of golfers too is that of a more, you know, luxury, higher end type of mindset. So these shoes definitely fit the bill. They feel like you are getting every bit of that $200 you spend on them because it's not a cheap sneaker, but I think it's a sneaker that's gonna perform. It's a sneaker that's gonna look really good. And it's gonna be, you know, the type of shoe that's gonna get you compliments on the course from people that know. It's one of those, if you know, you know type things. But let me know what you think of these down in the comments below. Let me know if you're gonna rock them, if you got your hands on a pair, if you're having trouble finding them. I think they sold out pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, like the 11s that are on StockX right now for a crazy price, hopefully these don't go crazy high on the resale because I think if you're an avid golfer and sneakerhead, you really gotta have this in your collection. And I think everyone, deserves to be able to own amazing pairs of sneakers like this one so let me know what you think down below please consider hitting the like and subscribe and that does it for me guys on this episode where we talked the jordan 5 low golf cleat edition a fantastic sneaker i highly recommend i appreciate your time thank you for watching Please give me a like and subscribe so we can stick around. You can join the family on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We are getting so close and uh, more sneakers to come, guys. I, anything I can get my hands on, I'm going to try and review and give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on. I appreciate your time. Hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.